And now, GSD Wrestling presents Breakdown. Welcome everybody to the Breakdown Pay Per View. First, Raw Pay Per View of 2021. We hope you all enjoyed this pay per view. And we'll get this pay per view started up soon with the first match on the main show. So, to kick off the main show, we'll be having Samoa Joe taking on Kurt Angle for the Intercontinental Championship. So, let's head down to the ringside area to catch this match taking place. And making his way to the ring from Huntington Beach, California, the Samoan Submission Machine, Samoa Joe. The Samoa Joe, a former Raw Tag Team Champion, makes his way down to the ring to take on the Intercontinental Champion, Kurt Angle. These two men have been feuding over on the weekly episodes on YouTube, but these two men look to culminate their feud in a IC title match. Well, Samoa Joe makes his way down to the ring, the challenger to the goal, the challenger Samoa Joe. And now making his way to the ring, the Olympic hero, the Intercontinental Champion, Kurt Angle. So Kurt Angle makes his way down to the ringside area for this match for his title defense. Kurt Angle obviously defeating the former IC champion Jinder Mahal to gain the IC championship. Jinder Mahal losing to Angle, Angle becoming your new IC champion, but he looks to take on the Samoan submission machine here tonight. This is going to be a tough challenge for Angle. This is going to be a tough challenge for even men to win here tonight as both men were technically skilled in the ring. Both men do with a brawling technical style. These men will have to clash together here tonight. Here's the match is for the Intercontinental Championship. And things get underway as Joe and Angle lock up. The lock up are the two big bulls in this match. Joe and Angle from behind. Angle going for a suplex. One. That's one suplex from Angle. Two. And he's going to hit a third one. Three. The trifecta of suplexes. And he looks to hit a fourth. Now Samoa Joe belly to belly. And Samoa Joe going for German suplex of his own. And another German suplex into cover one. Two. Angle kicks out at two. A two count for Samoa Joe here in this match. This match has been high intensity. These two men with their suplexing power in the ring. Now Joe looking to hit the strikes in the corner onto Angle. Those strikes taking out Kurt Angle. Now throwing him into the ropes. Clothesline from Joe. Joe just clotheslining the head off the Olympic hero. The Olympic hero is taken out. And here you go, here's Joe setting up for a senton by Joe, a huge senton, the weight crushing down on the Olympic hero Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe now, oh he's going to pick him up for another one, here we go, suplex into the corner, head just bouncing off the turnbuckle pad, Kurt Angle's head is bounced off the turnbuckle pad and here goes Joe, here goes Joe, oh Angle shoving him into the corner, belly to belly suplex from the Olympic hero Kurt Angle. Just to take out Samoa Joe. That belly to belly. Just taking out Samoa Joe. Now Kurt Angle. I think he's telling Joe to get up. Kurt Angle looking to finish this match. Kurt Angle looking to win here tonight. And angle slam. One. Two. And a two count from the angle slam. Kurt Angle can't believe it. Kurt Angle can't believe that Samoa Joe just kicked out of the angle slam. Samoa Joe kicking out of the angle slam. He can't believe it. He can't believe it. Oh, the ankle lock. The angle lock locked in onto Joe. Just trying to break the foot. Break the ankle of Joe. This move is high intensity. I don't know how Joe will escape. Joe has to get to the ropes or he has to break the hole. Samoa Joe, there's no escape. There's no escape for this as angle cinches it in. Cinches the leg. Of Joe and the ankle. The ankle lock is locked in. The ankle lock is locked in. Joe has to get to the rope. That's the only other choice. Come on. Let's see what's going to happen. Come on, Joe. Get to the ropes. Get to the ropes. Samoa Joe gets to the ropes. Samoa Joe breaks the hole. Angle has to now let go of the ankle lock. Now Kurt Angle going for another suplex. Samoa Joe having a vibe. There's the cocaine a clutch. The Coquina Clutch is locked in. The Coquina Clutch locked in on Kurt Angle. 
just trying to take every single breath out of Angle. Every single breath that Angle has just being taken out and constricted by Kurt Angle. By Kurt Samoa Joe just constricting Kurt Angle. Roll up. One, two, three. The free count. Samoa Joe loses. Kurt Angle wins. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Kurt Angle just defeated Samoa Joe here tonight. Kurt Angle just defeating Samoa Joe and retaining the title, but with that roll-up victory, using the ropes, cheating to win, the cheating to win by Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle cheating to win, this is not like Angle, but you do what you gotta do to win titles, you do what you gotta do to retain your gold, and Kurt Angle knew this, Kurt Angle knows this, and Kurt Angle knows that he had to defend his title here tonight. Please welcome my guest at this moment, the aerial assassin, Will Ospreay. So Will, you do have that Cruiserweight title match coming up later tonight. How do you feel about this? Well, to be quite honest with you, mate, I don't feel too much about this. I know that if I put my heart and effort into this match, that I will win and I will become the Cruiserweight champion. Hey Will, me and Matt Morgan over here, we are big fans of you. Well, we are big fans of the flippy shit. We're the big fans of the, the strong wrestling, the technical stuff. So if you join us, Will, we'll make sure to make you Cruiserweight Champion. What do you say, huh? appreciate the offer, gentlemen, but I'll have to consider it later. I've got other things on my mind at the moment, but thank you for the proposal. That will do it all here, for folks. For this interview, head back down to you at ringside. And so coming up now is a Raw Tag Team title match where the Usos take on the reigning defending Raw Tag Team champions, the Hardy Boys. So let's head down to the ringside area. Making their way to the ring from Cameron, North Carolina, the Raw Tag Team champions, Matt and Jeff, the Hardy Boys. So the Hardy Boys make their way down to the ring, the current reigning defending Raw Tag Team Champions, Matt and Jeff Hardy. Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, both men great in the ring. Both men have a versatile moveset, and both men have been keeping those Raw Tag Team Champions on the lock, keeping every challenger that they face so far, putting them away. But now, they will have to defend it against the Usos in a Tag Team match. Obviously, singles matches have been taking place on Raw episodes. Both men are one for one. Matt Hardy losing, Jeff Hardy winning, vice versa. Now it's going to culminate in this tag team match. These two men square for the first time in a tag team contest in the ring tonight. Now making their way to the ring, the challengers to the Raw Tag Team Championships, the Usos. So the Usos do actually have an advantage over the Hardy Boys as in an 8 man tag on the last episode of Raw they did end up defeating Matt and Jeff Hardy with the other two members of their team so they have an advantage the Usos are having an advantage of a 2 to 1 in victory wise over the Hardy Boys but let's see if they can make do of it here tonight and make it an even more larger gap between the feud and the and the wins and losses record that they have in this company. So here we go now, Matt Hardy and Jimmy Uso squaring in the ring, Uso going for back takedown, Uso taking down Matt Hardy, now constricting the arm, just bending and constricting the arm of Matt Hardy, Matt Hardy just locked into this arm constriction by Uso, Uso just taking out the arm, Jeff Hardy clapping on Matt, giving him motivation in this match, Matt Hardy trying to escape from the arm lock by Uso. Matt Hardy punched to the face and multiple strikes from Matt Hardy. Jay Uso watching on as his brother is getting struck. Chopped to the chest. And Matt Hardy is striking to the corner. And here comes Matt Hardy with a bulldog to take out Jimmy Uso. That bulldog takes out Jimmy here tonight. Jeff Hardy continually showing support from Matt. But all close on cut. Super kick from Uso. The super kick connects to Matt Hardy. That huge super kick from Uso connecting to Hardy. And Matt Hardy now getting prepared for a splash. A running splash by Uso. Uso penitentiary has just been unlocked. And the Hardy boys have been put inside. Here we go. 
Now, Uso with the hip attack into the corner of Matt Hardy's head bouncing off that turnbuckle. Now, Uso, I think he's setting up for a senton. Here we go. Here goes Jimmy Uso. Senton by Uso. Connects to Matt Hardy. Jeff Hardy on the outside looking for the tag in to his brother. Looking to help his brother here tonight. Jeff Hardy. Jimmy Uso just tagging in Jay. Jay Uso coming into this match. Matt Hardy has to be careful now. Now Uso going for clothesline duck. Side effect. Side effect from Hardy. Hardy's back on the attack. Here comes Matt Hardy. And I think he's going to hit it. Here we go. Matt Hardy's got him in the position. Here we are. Twist of fate. Tagging to Jeff. Matt Hardy just tagging into Jeff. Jay Uso just taken down by the twist of fate. And now poetry in motion to take out Jimmy. Jimmy Uso taken out on the outside by that poetry in motion. And now Jeff Hardy. Here we go. Twist of fate from Jeff. I think Jeff Hardy's thinking about finishing this match off. Go Hardy. Jeff Hardy thinking about going to the top. Thinking about finishing this match off. He's taking a shot off. He knows it's going to get serious now. Jeff Hardy heads up to the top rope. Heads up to the top of the ring post. Here we go. Swanton Bomb. One, two, three. The Hardy Boys retain here tonight. The Hardy Boys retain their Raw Tag Team Championships in an amazing contest between Hardy and the Usos. Both teams shouldn't be upset with their performance, but the Hardy Boys obviously coming out on top here tonight, defeating the Usos. The Hardy Boys making a big impact and a big statement here tonight, knocking off their number one contender. I think the Usos are probably in line for a rematch sometime down the line. I think it's the Hardy Boys actually think they deserve it but we'll have to see but the hardy boys do pick up the victory and retain their raw tag team championships here tonight and break down pay for view Tees UK, your one-stop shop for all your professional wrestling figure t-shirt needs. Use code GSD15 for 15% off orders over four ninety nine at figtees.co.uk. That's code GSD15 for 15% off. And so coming up now is a match between Drew McIntyre and Andrade. And remember, Andrade will be having a chair to start off this match uh, due to winning a stipulation on Raw. So let's head backstage quickly to a quick interview with Drew McIntyre before this match. So let's head backstage. Please welcome my guest at this moment, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. So Drew, you do take on Andrade tonight. Right now, you're going to be taking on Andrade. How do you feel about this? Well, to be quite honest with you, mate, I'm looking to claim more the shit out of Andrade. He's been causing me nothing but trouble over on Raw. And tonight, I'm going to claim or his head off. This is not a prediction. It's a spoiler. Making his way to the ring, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. So Drew McIntyre on his way to the ring now. The Scottish psychopath, the Scottish warrior, looking to take out the thorn in his backside in the form of Andrade. Drew McIntyre looks to make his way down to the ringside area to win here tonight or to lose. We never know who, what's going to happen as there is a factor played into this match. As starting off this match, Andrade will be having a chair to start off the match here tonight. So we never know who is going to win as this match is in jeopardy as Andrade does have a chair to start it off. So making his way down to the ring from Gomez Palacio, Durando, Mexico, the Ali de Los Andrade. So as I said before, Andrade does have a chair to kick off this match after winning a stipulation match over on Raw to win this opportunity to have a chair to start off. This would be a great advantage for Andrade, an advantage point as Andrade will be having a weapon and Drew McIntyre will be in open arms just fighting with his bare hands but Andrade will have the opportunity and the upper hand against 
Drew McIntyre because he has that all important chair to help him in this match here tonight. This match is about to get underway as both men go for it. Here we go, Claymore! The Claymore knocks the chair right out of Andrade's hands. That Claymore from Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre said he was going to make it quick. Said he was going to finish off Andrade. Said he was going to get rid of Andrade. And another Claymore, the second Claymore, connects to Andrade. That Claymore just connecting to Andrade's head. The boot to the head. And now Drew McIntyre picks up that chair. What's he going to do with it? Just whacking it on the back of Andrade and doing it again. Drew McIntyre wants to end this match as fast as possible. Drew McIntyre wants to get rid of the pain that and suffering that Andrade has caused to him. Drew McIntyre looking to end this match here as here we go. Future Shot DDT. One, two, three. It's all done and dusted. Drew McIntyre wins here tonight. Drew McIntyre winning this match here tonight. McIntyre winning against Andrade. And now, oh ho, chair shot. A chair shot. Who oh, did it? Humberto Carrillo. Humberto siding with Andrade. Andrade, what's he got on his mind here tonight? I don't think these two men are done with each other. Not on the ankle. Don't do it, Andrade. Don't do it all. Oh, he just slams that chair onto the ankle, just kicking the ankle of Drew. Drew must be out. Drew has to be injured. Andrade having a new cohort to his side in the form of Humberto Carrillo. Zelina Vega hiring Humberto Carrillo to her team. Helping Andrade to take out Drew McIntyre after the Drew McIntyre defeated him in the night. Smart move by Andrade taking out some adversary in the way and gaining a new adversary in Humberto Carrillo here tonight. And so coming up now is a triple threat between Rey Mysterio, Ali and Will Ospreay for the coveted Cruiserweight title. So let's head back down to the ringside area to catch this match taking place. And making his way to the ring from the United Kingdom, the aerial assassin Will Ospreay! So Will Ospreay, obviously number one contender to the Cruiserweight Championship after facing Rey Mysterio at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view and coming up short but obviously taking on Ali on the like World War episode because that match actually ended in a double knockout which caused Sergeant Slaughter and Rey Mysterio to decide that both men should be added to the match and making his way to the ring from Chicago Mustafa Ali! So Mustafa Ali makes his way down to the ring. Mustafa, obviously, again, being added into the match after him and both Will Ospreay knock each other out during their Cruiserweight number contendership match, causing the decision to be made by the champion himself to add Ali to this triple threat. Maybe it's not the best decision that the champion's made, as he doesn't need to be pinned here tonight to lose his Cruiserweight Championship, but we have to see what happens in the ring, in the middle of the squared circle here tonight. So making his way to the ring from San Diego, California, the Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio! So our reigning defending Cruiserweight Champion makes his way down to the ring, Rey Mysterio just making his way to the ring. The Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio, obviously being the first Cruiserweight Champion in the company. Winning that title in the Battle Royal a couple years ago. Um, now looks to defend his title in a triple threat match here tonight against both Will Ospreay and Mustafa Ali. As this match gets underway now, this triple threat match looking to start off. And the two, everybody just looking around at Rey Mysterio. Will Ospreay talking to Ali, saying that him and Ali should take out Mysterio. The two, the futures of the company, should take out the legend. Oh, and they just throw Mysterio out of the ring. Mysterio is just tossed out of the ring by Ospreay and Ali. Ospreay, now in a suplex position, counters it with a German suplex of his own. And now takes him out with a back suplex from Will Ospreay. The aerial assassin taking a more grounded approach to this match. Less high-flying, more technical and tactical moves 
And here we go, Hurricane Rana into the corner by Mysterio, the Cruiserweight Champion, using his very well good ring awareness to take out Will Ospreay. And now throwing over Ali, Ali counters it though. And now a flip of the middle rope to take out the Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio. This match has been high intensity from the opening bell. And now, oh, Will Ospreay, he catches it. Huge power bomb from Ospreay. The back and neck of Ali must be in pain of the huge jumping power bomb by Will Ospreay. Now, Will Ospreay, oh, Hurricane Runner by Mysterio. That suplex was just countered by Mysterio. The counter attack is on from the Cruiserweight Champion. The Cruiserweight Champion being the smallest man in the match, but he's putting up the biggest fight of all. Now Rey Mysterio going after Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali, Spanish fly! One, two, two count for Mustafa, nearly knocking off the Cruiserweight Champion here tonight. Mustafa Ali just nearly knocked off the Cruiserweight Champion. Now Will Ospreay going for another hangman suplex, just with that twist added in, just throwing him onto Mysterio. Will Ospreay trying to get the crowd going, trying to get them intense, trying to get them hype. I think he's setting up for it. Here we go. Oz Cutter. Double Oz Cutter from the aerial assassin, Will Ospreay. Just taking out everybody in his path. This is all for the Cruiserweight title. And Will Ospreay. Oh, Ali, Spanish fly. Ali, he sees an opening. Mustafa Ali sees that opening. This could be Mustafa's time to become Cruiserweight Champion. Mustafa, do it kid. Make yourself a dream. Make yourself something. Come on kid. Come on Ali. Do it. Do it. Ali heading up high. Oh, he's pulled up by Matt Morgan. Matt Morgan pulls up Ali and now Steiner. Steiner with a Steiner recliner. They offered a proposition to Osprey. That if he joined them, that he would get what he wanted. That if he joined these two Again, men, make that he'd get famous. The, the Cruiserweight title. Right. Hidden Blade! One, two, three. No way. Will Ospreay has just won the Cruiserweight Championship after joining. I think Will Ospreay has joined Steiner and Morgan. This faction seems to be unstoppable. These three men. A great faction of Will Ospreay is just a great addition to the team here tonight. Will Ospreay winning his first ever championship here in GSP Wrestling. And he wins his Cruiserweight Championship with the help of his new teammates. Scott Steiner and Matt Morgan helping the young upstart Will Ospreay to his first title goal. This team seems to be unstoppable. These three men look to be a great unit in the company. They're going to work together and win many, many championships in the future here on GSD Wrestling. Just back here again to remind you that to use code GSD15 for 15% off orders over 4 99 at figtees.co.uk. That's code GSD15 for 15% off orders over 4 99 at figtees.co.uk. Thank you for listening. And coming up now is their European title match between the murder hawk Lance Archer taking on the European champion John Cena. So let's head back down to the ringside area to catch this match for the European Championship. And now making his way to the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts, the European champion John Cena. So Cena makes his way down to the ring to defend his European title and what people are saying is Cena's toughest challenge to date in the company as he has to take on the Murderhawk Lance Archer but Cena always prevails, Cena usually gets through things, Cena having the hustle, loyalty and respect and the never give up attitude that he possesses to help himself win here in this company. Come on, here we go, here comes the murder hawk monster, Lance Archer. Lance Archer obviously infusing with, with Ricochet 
and Cedric Alexander, which entangled him into a feud with John Cena. As John Cena's open challenge on Money in the Bank was entered by Lance Archer. Lance Archer not taking the traditional route in an open challenge and confronting Cena face to face, but attacking him from behind, which aggravated his constant feud between Ricochet and Cedric Alexander. But Ricochet and Cedric Alexander did get taken out by Archer, which caused Cena to challenge him to this match to give Archer this opportunity for his European Championship. Here tonight, Lance Archer looking to take on John Cena for his European Championship. Here tonight, and this match begins as Cena hitting some strikes straight into the Murder Hawk Lance Archer and a clothesline. Now Cena going for it. Lance Archer just launching Cena across the ring. Lance Archer counters Cena's attempt at any move. Now Lance Archer, here we go. Lance Archer taking it all for the big boot. Cena counters it. Back suplex from Cena. The back suplex taking out the bigger man, Lance Archer. John Cena, I don't know what he looks to do now, but Cena telling Archer to get up. Shoulder tackle. The shoulder tackle from Cena. Cena takes out Archer from the shoulder. Go for another one, but Archer catches it. Choke slam by the Murder Hawk. The Murder Hawk just choking down the European champion. Now, what's Lance Archer looking to do? I think he's looking to hit that big boot he could have hit earlier. Here comes Archer. Big boot. The big boot to John Cena here in this match. Lance Archer taking out John Cena with that huge big boot. Now dragging him into the middle of the ring. Now here we go. Lance Archer looking for another move. And but John Cena counters it into a slam. The slam, and now he's taking him into the middle of the ring. I think we know what he's going to hit. He's going for it. Five knuckle shuffle. Here we go. Five knuckle shuffle connects to the murder hog. The murder hog just got shot with that five knuckle shuffle. Cena could be looking to finish this match here tonight as he has him plopped up on his shoulders for the AA. Cena AA. One. Two, Archer kicks out at two. Archer kicking out of the attitude adjustment from Cena. Lance Archer, I can't believe it. Lance Archer kicks out of the attitude adjustment. And now Cena, he's just locked him into the STF. The STF locked in on Archer. Just trying to cut off the flow to Archer's brain and brave ways. Oh, Cena just taking out Lance Archer. Just trying to cut it off. Just trying to cut off all access to breathing space for Lance Archer but Lance Archer I think he's got out of it Lance Archer he's got out of it and he's got him in the death drop position death drop by Archer two three Lance Archer picking up the victory here tonight and we have a new European champion in the form of the murder hawk the murder hawk monster taking out Cena and we have a new champion. Lance Archer just too big and too fast and too strong to Cena here tonight. That's reasoning being why Lance Archer has just won the European Championship. We have a new European Champion here tonight in the form of the Murder Hawk, Lance Archer. What would this mean for the European title division? What would this mean for the future of the championship? We'll have to find out later on in the future. But we'll have to see what's going on in our new champion. Coming up now is our main event in the first ever Steel Matt match between Matt Morgan and the Raw World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins. So let's head down to the ringside area to catch our main event of the evening. And making his way to the ring, the challenger, the monster, Matt Morgan. So Matt Morgan taking on the Raw World Heavyweight Champion Seth freaking Rollins here tonight in our main event of the breakdown pay-per-view in their first ever steel mat match. Matt Morgan looks to take the World Heavyweight Championship. He's obviously accompanied by his manager Scott Steiner and their newest member to the group, the Cruiserweight Champion Will Ospreay here tonight. Matt Morgan is very tall and very powerful so Seth Rollins should be worried about losing his title here tonight as there's a high chance of him losing his championship belt look at the size of the monster Matt Morgan and now making his way to the ring the Raw World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins 
So Seth Rollins did defeat Scott Steiner to win that World Heavyweight title a couple months ago at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Seth Rollins looking to make his third title defense here tonight. Obviously defending his title on Instagram against Elias and now defending his title against Matt Morgan. He also took out AJ Styles. Seth Rollins, despite being the champion, is still being considered the underdog coming into this match as there is a considerable size difference between these two men. Matt Morgan standing at 7 feet tall, Seth Rollins standing at 6 foot 2 inches. These two men look to take each other on tonight for that world, Raw World Heavyweight Championship on the breakdown pay-per-view. So it's all for the World World Heavyweight Championship. As they lock up, both men locking up. Matt Morgan obviously having the size advantage, just slamming Rollins in the corner. Now the back elbows in the corner. Now he picks him up. Huge slam by Morgan. Morgan just displaying that power, that speed that he possesses. The seven-footer just taking out Seth friggin' Rollins here tonight. And now he's going to slam in the corner. Rollins counters it. Roll up. And now super kick. Seth Rollins mounting the counter attack against the monster Matt Morgan looking to retain his World Heavyweight Championship Seth Rollins going for suplex oh Matt Morgan just with a huge slam onto that steel the unforgiving steel is absolutely palpable here tonight and now a discus clothesline takes down Rollins the discus clothesline by Matt Morgan to take down the World Heavyweight Champion this match has been out of my mind throughout this whole match. Now Rollins picked up and now big boot, big boot onto the unforgiving steel. Big boot on the unforgiving steel. This match is intense. This match is a brutal. Both men giving their lives on the line. Now Seth Rollins, DDT counters Matt Morgan's attack. The counter attack is on from Rollins. Now Rollins heading up to the top rope. Here we go, Frog Splash! Frog Splash from the man! The World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins just taking out Matt Morgan with a huge Frog Splash! There we go, Seth Rollins heads up for the top rope cutter to take him out and a Falcon Arrow by Rollins! How was he able to pick up the 7 footer for a Falcon Arrow in the middle of the ring? The Falcon Arrow from the man, Seth Rollins! Here goes Seth, Cup Stop Counter! Matt Morgan's got him up on his shoulders. Seth Rollins dunking down. One, two, three. Seth Rollins picking up the retain from a roll-up victory. He rolls up Morgan countering his move. Seth Rollins retaining his World Heavyweight Championship here tonight. Just retaining the belt. I can't believe it. Seth Rollins defeats Matt Morgan here tonight. Seth Rollins celebrating his retain. The retain of the World Heavyweight Championship. My God. Oh, okay. Off from out of nowhere. Randy Orton. Randy Orton. Randy Orton with an RKO to Rollins. Everybody's in shock. Nobody expected Orton to be here tonight. What's Orton doing here? Randy Orton. Punt kick. The punt from Orton. Oh, my God. Randy Orton takes him out with a punt. The punt from Orton. Just taking out Seth Rollins. Randy Orton sending a message to the World Heavyweight Champion here tonight. Randy Orton making his emphatic return to the company. Randy Orton makes his raw debut, taking out the man. That will do it all for tonight, folks. We'll see you back for the episode sooner or later. Goodbye.